Kamusta kayong lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark. Over here on my left side, we got Ingrid. How are you feeling? What's up? I'm good. Chilling. Looking good. I like your nails too. Thank you. Over there on the other side of the court, we got James. How are you feeling, James? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Awesome. We are ready to blow you guys up with some awesome content, but also our special guest for tonight on my right side here, we got Dan Cabea. How you feeling, bro? Feeling really, really, really good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for coming tonight. We're going to have some fun times talking basketball. Before we start with any topics, James, throw us a little bit about fun facts for the day. Uh, today's NBA fun fact is all about Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge is the only player who won three All-American Award in three respective sports, baseball, football, and basketball. He became an NBA player after that, and now he's a president and general manager for Boston Celtics. Back to you, Mark. Whew, that's some fire, fire fact. I didn't know that about Danny Ainge, right? Well, speaking of Danny Ainge and his decision with the whole thing with Jalen Brown, can we please talk about that? All right, yeah, James, what do we have as our topic for all about the NBA? So let's talk about the extensions. There's like four athletes who had almost max a contract or a nice contract. Pascal Siakam, Sabonis, and um, Buddy Hield and uh, Jalen Brown, right? So what do you guys think about that? Who deserves it more? I, on my part, I think all three minus Jalen. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why the, the way I see it, just because from when he was drafted back into what, 2016 up until now, he, he's somewhat increased or we did see the potential in him postseason, mm -hmm. right? Whereas coming from last season, I don't know if we're going to put Kyrie as a factor into it. But he showed he showed nothing for it, and how can we put into this into this season for us to even trust him to carry this team or anything, or to even showcase that like he deserves the four years? Yeah, you agree with that? Like that's pretty bold statement with Jalen Brown. I mean, I say if you say that about Jalen Brown, then you might as well say it about Jason Tatum, because mm -hmm. they both proved that they could play. Like I mean, I I thought Jalen Brown proved he could play. He just hasn't had the opportunity. I just felt he didn't find his rhythm though, like last season. Maybe he found yeah. it later on, later in the season. Mm -hmm. But it's just how can you be able to give it so quick to throw that that, that extension, right? You can also mention, I mean, Jalen Brown on the other side of the court has been a defensive kind of stop uh, stopper mm -hmm. compared to. Can you also say the same thing with Buddy Hield, who's putting up good numbers on the Sacramento team, but then they're not winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So That's true. would you rather have it Jalen Brown who can play on both ends, like you mentioned, rather than a guy that Buddy Heald who's on the offensive side but doesn't really not on a winning team. Right? Would you factor that in in terms of how nah, Boston? That's kind of, a big factor. That yeah, is a big sure. factor, yeah. You're for right sure. on that. Because I mean Sacramento's not winning. Yeah. Buddy doesn't necessarily deserve one in that sense, but Oh man, that's a tough one. That's like a yeah. Jason Tatum situation, situation right? Yeah. He's he's that kind of player for them, yeah. right? So we'll see. We'll see who deserves it. But we know for sure Pascal is the most deserving out of all oh, of them. Oh, for sure, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. He's gonna be another transcending star soon. Yeah, oh, for, for sure. sure. For sure. That's guaranteed. Well, Jess, you questioned we him about it though. I, yeah. I did because I wanted him to prove it first before. And look what happened first, giving the home opener. Th that was probably <laughs> the, the biggest surprise I've ever seen. To, 34. But then he mm. gave us 34, so I feel like that was kind of a, a, so to us to show them that he deserved that contract. And you win the wrong. Much. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll. James, what other topics do we have for what's up in the NBA? Uh, today, who do you guys think is the better team? L.A. Clippers or L.A. Lakers? Ooh, the king of L.A. <coughs> I think. Are you a LeBron fan? Are you, or wait, Davis, wait, wait, or wait. Are we, are we are picking on me? <laughs> We're picking on you. I, I have a feeling he's a Kawhi fan. No, or Paul I feel George. Like, like you're a guest, I, yeah. so I want to know. I'm, I'm a LeBron James is the GOAT kind of oh, guy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm I sorry. I get a sense that aura. I'm sorry. He is. <laughs> you know? So king of L.A. is the king. Yeah, LeBron is a... Uh, Lakers are the best team. Yeah, I mean, Lakers are the best team. You can't, you can't say, yeah, on paper, but no, like, realistically. Let's let's be honest. Mm -hmm. um, Paul George is injured and he's injury prone. Mm -hmm. Like he, you know, he's more injury prone than Anthony Davis. Oh, the, that's, that's, a, what that's something like. I've ever. That's something I've never. I've never that's, heard. That's, what, that's what it looks like because yeah. I look at Anthony Davis's stats and I'm like, he's been producing for years although yeah. they say he's injury prone yeah. but Paul's Paul is struggling 
He really is for years. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that, that, that right there is the biggest factor because Kuzma comes back, they're a different team. They're a different team. But same with Paul George when he does come back. He's in a slow no. transition. No. It might change. No. <laughs> it's like, no, no. It's like, absolutely because, not. Because that means Kawhi has to share the rock. Mm. So now he can't do what he did the other night. The other night he had to share it with nobody. So he, he knew what he had to do. Exactly. But if there's somebody else, mm, that changes the whole game. Well, doesn't that change them to becoming the best two-way? Well, mm. no, I mean, I mean that, that is a way to, to be a great duo. But LeBron and, and Davis are, are proving it because they're, they're going through the struggle together right now. Um, Kawhi's not. So he's going to go through it. By the time he's going through it, they're going to be rolling. Uh, I don't know. You it's feel tough. Are you strongly for the fact that you have a two best, you know, two best wing player, two way player, and then you have on his end, he has Davis and, and Well, you have LeBron. a walking, talking franchise, and then you also have what? Yeah. Anthony Davis, who's probably, what, number one in fantasy, right? He's ranked number yeah. one in fantasy. But mm -hmm. to showcase of what he did first game, mm, not so much. But, like, it's obviously, it's the beginning of the season. First right? game. So it's first, first game. game. So do you think the first game tells anything at all about... Nope. Nope. More... More so, if, if, it's not a, if it's not a setting point or a focal point for, yeah. let's say, AD and LeBron, can we say the same thing for Fred Van Fleet and Pascal Siakam then? Because mm. if you're saying it's not a it's not a setting point for them, then it's definitely well, a setting point for them too. Yeah. I think the best thing to look at is um, the champions, the champions. So Pascal 34, Fred 34, Danny Green 28, mm. um, who Kawhi. else? Is Kawhi, Kawhi 30. Kawhi, 30. Yeah. You know, these guys were ready. They're primed. They've been playing. They just won. They're mm -hmm. ready to go. Those are the only guys that produced. Mm -hmm. Nobody else was ready like them. So That's true. maybe we could factor that, yeah. you know, and say that um, it's just the first game. Fun fact, yeah. actually, yeah. no one from ESPN or TNT or any American sports media ever mentioned that they were all, like, ex rap players, Raptors yeah. players. So. Wow. That's true. I know. That's some shade on <laughs> It's rude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they want a new champion in there real yeah. fast. Yeah. Real for fast, sure. they do. I agree. Well, that's all we have, guys, for what's up in the NBA. But before we go to the second segment, let's bring it up to James to end it off with some stat of the night. Uh, today's stat of the night, well, last two decades stat of the night, is David Robinson. David Robinson is the only player, well, the last player who had quadruple double. He had 38, 34 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 blocks. Back Ooh. to you, Mark. The general. <laughs> that was the sixth out of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But stay tuned, because when we come back, all about the Raptors.